Cutter Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV, Upper Mississippi River Valley, and we have moved not just through the rest of May, but through uh, almost all of June here. We're sitting in the fourth week of June, and we're just feeding some animals before we move the clock forward, and that is because our barley did not get ready in time. If we take just a quick look here, I was really hoping that this was going to... Uh, have matured here and we're going to be able to harvest in June. It looks like it's going to be a slightly later crop. It's going to come into July here instead of the uh, first part of this uh, harvest cycle. So I'm really hoping uh, that we're going to be able to uh, get that harvested. And again, I still haven't decided if we're going to double crop into soybeans or go for the grass. And uh, I'm leaning now more towards grass because, as you can see, the feed uh, levels on our barns are uh, getting a low, low-ish. And honestly, we ran out as I was moving time forward. Uh, if I bring up the finance screen here, you can see our bale costs are... Uh, rising quite uh, heavily here. We had to buy bales uh, just to get through the end of May, and we've been buying pretty heavily to move through June here and keep up with everything on the farm. Uh, it's crazy how much feed these cows are going through, so we're just going to need to convert more of our acres into uh, getting more feed. As you can see, uh, this is no longer uh, filling. We're only at 82%, so this is going to be the last uh, bit of feed that we have in the harvest store, and then we're going to be out. Now, luckily, moving into July here, our grass is going to be ready for another cutting. Uh, because I think it's uh, in that f uh, first or second stage growth where technically it says ready to harvest, but it's just not quite there yet. I don't think there's anything else on the farm that we need to do other than one last record keeping thing. You see, we've got ten and a half million dollars in the bank right now. Well, we did just start another series on the uh, Missouri River bottom map. And uh, I've kind of decided for the rest of FS22 here that we're going to be uh, carrying our finances between maps. So I brought eight and a half million dollars with me over to that map. And so I'm just going to take it right out of this uh, giant nest egg. It's not like we have a lot of purchases left to make on this map. We own uh, a good chunk of the map now, uh, most of the big fields that are easy to work on. And we've got quite a bit of... Uh, equipment on the farm here so um, that's what we're gonna do so without a further ado i'm going to move us forward into july and we'll see what things are looking like at this point uh, i'm kind of curious to check on not just the progress of our animals here i know we're gonna have our hay is gonna be ready to cut but also um, we should have a barley field to harvest now so there we go, um, a little bit of a dip in the price of milk here as we get into certain months, and I think our production actually goes up and down based on where we're at in the uh, cycle with the animals. So not a big concern there. We'll see those prices come back up uh, later in the year. I'm gonna just take a, a nice a leisurely a stroll down the road here. It looks like our grass fields filled out very nicely. Um, this is the taller, thicker grass. Yep, we're good to go for getting out here and mowing. And uh, I can see that our barley has changed and is ready to harvest now. So I think that's gonna be uh, where I focus my energy today. We want to get uh, not only get that harvested, but we're going to set that up with some straw and see if we can start using that to aid in our feed uh, situation here. We do have the harvest stores set up now to accept straw as a part of the TMR mix as a separate recipe. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to get our handy 9860 going uh, we really probably could upgrade this thing at this point however we don't do that much I'll say standard harvesting on this map at this point so I haven't really found a need to invest in something bigger uh, this old guy's working pretty good for us so we're gonna just uh, sneak out here and go find our draper head here oh the Automation is working. We're hauling our slurry around the map. I love it. 
And this should be our header. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this hooked up. We could probably line up to the feeder house a little bit straighter there. Don't wanna hit that bagger. We've got quite a bit of equipment that we were using around the farm for specific things that we haven't used in just a little bit. I should probably either sell it off or find a use for it. That's all right. Uh, we're gonna take this right on out to that field though and see about uh, getting this harvester going. Uh, I don't think barley's gonna be a very a voluminous crop. Um, so we're gonna just get this started and then uh, we can go get our mowing started while it's going. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, I don't think our auto drive course on the roads is going to work while I'm hauling this big header, so I'm going to have to drive this down to the field manually. That's all right. We'll try and dodge around as many of these signs as we can. I don't think there's a way I get through here without plowing over a sign, though. Oh, well, we didn't mean to take that one out. We might as well just take them all out now. Wahaha, sign fiend. We probably really should invest in a header trailer at some point. Uh, we don't do that much harvesting that I haven't really thought about it too much, uh, especially with the cutter head here. Um, we'll have to think about that for uh, future seasons though. We can't be uh, plowing over the signs every time, I suppose. Get ourselves all set up and I'm going to just take a smidge off of the headland here and then is it that key to do the bales the swath there it is and what i want to do we're going to come in here i'm going to turn on straw swath it's activated good deal and then i can create a job generate a course we're going to do three headlands just because this isn't that wide of a header and there we go First waypoint, off you go. Should work out amazingly. And we're putting down a straw swath, which I'm not sure why we have all the chaff going off to the sides then if we're putting down a straw swath. Seems like a uh, bit of an error on the mod side of things here. That's all right. Um, we're doing about 217 bushels an acre in barley. Man, I know some farmers that would uh, love to see those kind of yields. That's farm sim for you though. We're gonna need a grain cart out here as well as a semi at some point. So I suppose I should hop back up to the farm and bring some more equipment out here. Now we've still got just this little Kinsey. I was running the, um, what do you call it on there? The 9RT, I think, at one point. It is a tracked grain cart, though, so I suppose we can grab the 8RX for this. Should work out nicely. I could put the, uh, uh, what is it, the 8410 on there, too, I suppose. That would haul a grain cart of that size without issue, but the 8RX is right here, and I don't want to do a lot of shuffling around. Uh, realistically, though, I suppose I should drop off these saddle tanks. Um, I'm just going to leave them on there. Too much of a hassle to switch them around. They're not really going to get in the way. They're over top of the tracks. I'm just not sure that I would risk uh, having them get damaged bouncing around in the field during harvest. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this works. Um... Combine's actually going to be coming around on this side. I think we're getting so much yield that we're not going to make it all the way around on that big field. So what I'm going to do is sneak across the grass field here. And we're going to see if we can catch up with the combine Ooh, as it comes into the corner here. Now, uh, somebody pointed out to me, I've had a drop in my frame rates in farm sim. Uh, lately, last uh, several weeks, and uh, I think it's because I updated my video drivers, and I've heard from a few people now that uh, there's some issues with the latest version of the NVIDIA drivers, and if I go back a couple of versions, that I'll see a jump in my frame rates again. 
So I'm going to be taking a look at that uh, after I'm done recording today. I would meant to do it over the weekend, but we uh, were without power for much of the weekend. We had some pretty interesting storms here and some high winds in the uh, metro Detroit area, which kind of uh, put a damper in my plans to get ahead on my farm sim youtube video backlog so here we are uh, a day late on a video again and just trying to uh, get through things now i see this guy's backing up why is he backing up what is he doing up there is he already full enough that he's gonna do like a cut in he's making a mess is what he's doing yeah it looks like he might be close to full and he's cutting in well, that's a good thing we came up this way. I was hoping he was going to at least make it around that corner, though, before this happened. Alas, can't uh, control when you get full. Oh, 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 we're running over Rosa Barley. Oh, it hurts. All right, here we are. Empty it out there, sir. We'll get you back on your way momentarily. Well, I guess that's a good news. We're going to have quite a bit of barley and I'm interested to see how we get through all this straw. Now, we've been talking about this for a while. I think I'm finally going to break down and we're gonna bring a loading wagon onto the farm and we're gonna see how we like that uh, set up. I've talked to a number of people that have said uh, Pottinger has been trialing loading wagons on a handful of different dairy farm setups in the Midwest which is something I haven't personally seen, but it's kind of cool to see that some of those things that are popular, I know, over in Europe are possibly uh, picking up uh, some traction here in the U.S. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to see how we like it. I have not done a lot with them in Farm Sim uh, just because... Uh, it's not something that I've seen commonly, but talking to people and hearing that uh, they've seen farms running them now in parts of the U.S. is uh, enough for me to want to give it a try. Now, personally, I think that the Pottinger ones are uh, kind of ugly. Uh, I don't know. I just don't like the colors or the styles. So we might uh, we might switch it up and get one from Kloss. It's a, a green piece of equipment, right? It'll go with the rest of the stuff on our farm. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what they have uh, on the mod hub. We'll see what's in the base game. I know Kloss has got some stuff like that base game here. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it. And uh, we'll get something on the farm here. Maybe even just to pick up the straw. I think it'll pick up the straw. Uh, we're turning it all into feed anyway. So the uh, whole plan is going to be to uh, just move it into the harvest store. We increase the capacities on our harvest store to kind of keep up with that. Trying to figure out what the perfect gear is here for going the six miles an hour alongside the combine. It looks like it's 12th gear. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and run along the combine the entire time, but I did want to get this grain cart down to the other end of the field uh, just to make my life easier so that I don't have to walk so far to get back to the farm. I think I should be able to jump this creek and hop over the fence, get back up there. We'll get a, a semi brought out to the edge of this field is uh, the next step. And then I think I need to get all this mowing equipment moving again. Maybe what we'll do is uh, for these smaller fields we've been talking about uh, not doing hay in them anymore, we'll cut them one last time, uh, like this one behind the farm here. And then... We'll plant some soybeans in there because technically I think I can still plant uh, late season soybeans in July. And then we'll be able to run that uh, on these smaller fields and have a little bit of other crop types and things to do besides uh, just a grass and corn silage here. All right, I'm going to shut this down. And like I said, hop the fence and we'll go get started on the semi truck. I'm not sure why, but I always like to use the red truck here on the green trailer. It's just become kind of a uh, habit, I suppose, because the semi is, trailer itself is red and white. So we're gonna just 
run this up here. Now, I think I left it parked in the bin enclosure, so I'm gonna run this up and around my bins here. And then we'll grab that trailer. Yep, right there. Find a camera angle that's not in the trees. It might make uh, lining up a little bit easier here. Perfect. And let's see. I'm going to bring this out to, what is that, field 7? I think it's field 7. It is indeed. Alright, sir. Good luck. We'll be back to check on you in a little bit. And we're going to get this uh, hay operation going because if I am going to plant some crops here in July yet, I'm going to want to do a little bit of uh, get this mowing going and, and get everything ready to move. I'm trying to think. I need silage and hay, right? If I just take a quick look here, I've got nothing. Uh, no hay, no silage. We ran it all out. We're completely devoid of uh, anything useful here. So let's get these guys out here. Now, last time I said I was going to do this, I'm not going to forget. We're going to do the three vehicle on this field. So let's not forget. Create job. Open generator. Multiple tools, three headlands, one generate. Copy this. Start you on left. Paste that. Start you on center. I should probably uh, take these guys off of the tab control. What is that? Control T. Now shift T. Now maybe I can't do it while they're uh, driving. Oh, it helps if you actually push T. Uh, I was pushing R. And we're going to send this guy off on the right side. Oh, our combine is full. That happens so fast. That's okay. We need to get this mowing started, folks. Or we'll, uh, we'll be here for way too long. And there we go. And it looks like we're doing grass. So this is going to be our silage. Because we still don't have uh, any corn to chop. And then we'll do some of the fields as hay in a little bit here. All right, perfect. So that's off. We've got it moving. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just hop across the creek here. And we'll grab our grain cart. And we'll go get this combine moving again. I suppose I could set this guy up with the course play combine unloading. But I'm not quite there yet. I don't trust it until we get our headlands off usually. So here we go. Let's go find ourselves a combine. It's really uh, kind of hazy here. It's almost like uh, the last couple of summers, at least in the uh, Detroit area here, we had so much uh, haze from all of the fires that were happening up in Canada and uh, other places that our entire summer kind of looked hazy like this. Well, the good news is that the combine's not that far from the entrance here where the semi is, so once we get him unloaded, we should be able to turn around right quick and dump all of this right into the semi. We'll see if he will start unloading on the go while we're doing this. Oh, he is. Okay, perfect. Let me get ahead here. Unloading on the go around a corner. Always a good time. We'll see how well we can manage this without hopefully crashing into anybody. I think I'm going to just let him get ahead of me and I think I've emptied enough that I can grab him afterwards. Yeah, I guess I have to say I'm really surprised we're getting this much yield off of barley. I, it's a crop that I haven't done a lot with in the past, so uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm going to slow down going up this hill a little bit. I feel like the combine slowed down ever so much. Don't want to get out of position. Uh, we should be able to top off this grain cart. 
I know the semi-trailer, I think this grain cart holds just enough to top off that semi-trailer uh, with a few bushels to spare if I top off the grain cart. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're at 93% with almost a thousand bushels in there. I jump around between uh, so many different uh, maps and pieces of equipment that I never remember exactly what our capacities are. I think this grain cart holds like 10,051 because uh, it's a Kinsey 10,051, so I would expect it to hold about uh, 10,050 bushels, but uh, I can't remember what our semi-trailer holds. I'm probably not going to deal with the curve here too much. Uh, maybe we will. I just want to top it off. I was going to say I'm just going to turn around here now that we're at the curve and not try to keep up with it, but it was such a gradual curve. Didn't end up being a uh, inconvenience. And there we go. We're full. The combine is off. And I'm going to run this back down to the semi and go get ourselves emptied out. I think it's going to be quickest to go this way. Might as well get our auger out and such. Probably be losing some grain over the side on that steep of a corner hill, but we're going to champ it out here. This 8RX is pulling this thing. I was going to say kind of sluggishly, but then I realized I'm just in a really low gear. So I'm going to give us a couple of gears. Get us down to the other end of the field a little bit faster. It's like a roller coaster with all these uh, bumps in the hills and such. I like it. We should have untarped the semi. I'm going to have to hop out and do that. That's all right, though, because I'm going to have to hop out and turn that semi around as well. Get him facing back out towards the road. So I think what I'll do, I'll pause this guy here so he's hopefully not in the way if the combine catches up to me while I'm monkeying around with all this. Get the tarp off and see if I can spin around on the grassy edge here. Jump in cab to avoid all the trees. And we're going to put it right over here near the road. I don't want to get too far, though, because I want to leave oops, room for this guy to uh, unload into me. Uh, let me see. We're going to be picking up at field 7, and we're going to be uh, dropping off at the farmyard. And we're doing barley. I'm not going to start that off, though, because it'll try to get to field 7 right now, which is not what I want. I just want him to sit here until I'm ready to send him on his way. I just want him to come back afterwards without me having to monkey around with it. Um, I'm going to try and unload on this side, even though the truck is a little bit in my way. I think what I can do is start with the back, and then I'll back up into the front compartment here. All right, that should do it. I'm looking good. So we had 10,050 in here, or 1,050, excuse me, and we're going to have 56, so that semi-trailer holds just under 1,000 bushels. Perfect. Good to know. 993 to be exact. So we'll send him up to the farmyard. Oh no, not the farmyard. That's not the uh, right one. It's the bin site. Hang on. There we go. You do your thing now, man. We need to hop over here and go unload this combine, which looks like it stopped already. Ah, oh, goodness. Uh, we are going to have to set the course play driver up here on the field to keep up with this combine, I'm thinking. We've got too many things going on. If I can't even have enough time to just unload into the semi and send it up to the farm before we're... Uh, full up and waiting on us. We got to keep this green cart moving. Good problems to have, though. And it's not like the hopper on this combine is super small. I think it's holding, uh, I don't even know, maybe three, four hundred bushels. I know by the time I'm done unloading on the go, it's even more than that. There we go. Got off a good start. Keeping our pace. Should be good to go. Uh, I'm excited to uh, shift some things around on the farm here. I, I really think it's going to be a good idea to uh, stop doing grass in these small fields and put some crops over there. 
Uh, it'll everything will kind of pace itself a little bit better with that too, uh, because I think this combine is going to be the right size to handle those fields, uh, and it'll give us a little bit of a little bit of variety, but also a little bit of you know just cash crops to sell. We want to stay connected with the people up in town. Find uh, find our reasons to run up there on a regular basis. Keep an eye on things. And this is going to be our second headland pass. I think I did three on this field just to make sure we've got enough room for turning around and such. Should work out good for us. I'm pretty sure the hopper's empty at this point. We're just getting a couple bushels as we drive along. Uh, I'm going to... Now that we've got almost two off, I think I'm going to just move up here. I'm going to pick that. I don't think that matters for this. Us, uh, course, play unloader too far away from field. I'm, I'm in the middle of a field. What are you talking about? Okay, well, this is why we don't use it. That's unfortunate that uh, this isn't going to work out for us. Uh, some AI worker has completed its task. I'm not sure who that is. So I'm going to wait for this guy to make the corner and unload him one more time on this short straight away. And then we're going to go check in on our mowing workers because they're the only ones that could be done with their jobs. Seems like it was a pretty quick run through that field, but I guess there's three of them. It won't take nearly as long as when I had just one doing the field. Gotta get up here and start unloading. We're wasting a valuable straightaway time. There's another one. Yeah, they gotta be getting done with that field. That's awesome. All right, I'm hoping we're gonna get empty right about the corner here. There it goes. Looks great. We'll stop here. And indeed, we are done. So let's bring these guys up out of the way here. And I suppose I need to get our rake moving in this field next. So I'm going to put this guy right up here for now. We are going to do, I think, all three of the smaller fields as grass. And then we'll switch over and do hay in the big field. Uh, because I will get more silage later on. And our silage needs are going to drop a little bit. Uh, because we're going to be doing straw. So I'm trying to find that right balance of how much silage to make versus how much hay to make. Uh, we will get one more cutting on hay, uh, but since these three smaller fields are going to get converted into something else, I'm going to have a little bit less hay um, than we usually do. So we'll have to see how this all works out. Uh, first waypoint, center... Yo, there we go. Had some comments. People thought that the 4440 was a little bit small on that big rake. So we're going to try and uh, swap things out there. Now I can go ahead and get rid of the courses on the mowers here since they're going to head over to another field and generate some new courses here. That's fine. The only downside of putting that tractor on the rake is that I don't have it on the baler then. I wish I could have started the baler off right behind the rake uh, with the way the course play course is laid out. Didn't think that through, did I? I don't think that 4440's got enough oomph to run the uh, baler. We've been talking about it. We might need to pick up a uh, slightly larger utility tractor for the farm here, maybe like a 6R or something. Kind of curious if we have any good mods in that category. Oh, I do have a 6R. I wonder where I got this. I don't know which mod this is. It's a small frame. I don't think this is the one that uh, I was thinking it would be, because this only goes up to 130 horse. It does have the front wheel drive options though. Well, that goes up to 130. What's a 8410 going up to? Yeah, this is 270. So, man, I don't know. That seems like it's a little bit small, but I guess a 4440 is only 130 as well. 
Yeah, I, I don't think that the small frame 6R is what I want. I think I'd want the slightly larger one. So we're going to pass on picking that right now uh, while we work on this other stuff. Let's see, we got all that going. We need to uh, get back out here and unload that combine. I know he's about full. Huh. AI worker Elizabeth has a full grain tank. Looks like our semi has made it out here successfully again, which is great. And we'll just grab the grain cart. And it's already got 600 bushels in it, so that means as soon as we unload this combine, we're going to be able to uh, fill that semi up again and send it back. It's going to keep us moving here. Man, I was really hoping to be able to leverage the uh, course play driver on this. I need to think about whether or not I have any other options here on what tractor I put on this grain cart. It's a pretty decent sized grain cart. I could try the 8R and see if that is wired up better. Because uh, I think that the issue I'm running into is a tractor issue, uh, but I'm not sure here. Either way, we're up here, we're refilling, and I was talking about the baler uh, running on that field, and I've just remembered, no, we said we were going to switch that out and get a, uh, whatchamacallit, a loading wagon this time around, and give that a shot. So I do need to find one of those and get it out here for a trial run. Uh, I, I think we're going to go with the Kloss version. I was looking in here at the Forge Wagons. We've got a decent sized one here, 57.6 cubic yards. I mean, it's not the biggest, but, you know, if it works and, and it's automated, that might be the a way to go. I know a lot of people would probably prefer to see me use the Forge Harvester choppers uh, and do the pickup head in the, uh, you know, run either semis or, or other type of uh, forge wagons next to it. But man, that would be so much work, especially in these smaller fields that it's just not worth it. I'll let this guy make the corner. We've got to get just a little bit more in here to top off the semi. Makes sense to do that as long as we're here. Almost infuriating that uh, he couldn't pick up that little bit in the corner there. Oh, uh, well. There we go. I've got enough to top off the semi now. Oops, we got to not nudge the header. We might as well just finish topping off the grain cart while I'm here. All right, that should be good. Now the good is the goodest the good part about uh, heading this way with the combine right behind me is as soon as I'm done unloading into the semi now, I should be in position to unload the combine again it should be down to this corner about the same time as we're done unloading and getting that semi back on its way so that's efficient at least although i really didn't want to get wrangled into being the grain cart driver today that's how things go sometimes uh i'm not sure if auto drive's going to be able to figure out how to turn around when it's on one of these like dead end points and it gets full so we'll see what happens um, I expect I'm going to have to hop out here, though, and help this semi get turned around and pointed in the right direction. Do I have the ability to move this spout in any way? I would like it to point out a little bit more. Nope, it can go down, but not up anymore. Okay. And the back hopper's full. There's a driver already in the semi, so it should start off doing its thing here. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. There's a lot of grass area there. Is he going to try and jump the ditch? No. Okay. Please, no. Oh, look at that. It's actually working. Honestly, I wouldn't have uh, expected that to work at all. Well, that's that's easy. It's nice when stuff works occasionally. This guy is about to be done with the headlands and start on up-down rows. I'm curious where the start of the up-down rows is going to be for this combine. Um, I'm hoping it's over on that end of the field, and I can follow him up the length of the field. He's trying to unload him around the edge of this small little piece is probably not worth my time and frustration. AI worker Betty is blocked by an object. 
I don't know which one Betty is. We'll go look into that in just a second. I'm almost positive that uh, this combine is going to hop up here. Now, this is interesting. You remember the semi was doing this weird thing with its wheels and stuff? Now the grain cart is as well. Uh, this is telling me that this is not a specific mod-related problem uh, as much as a general game problem. I've also seen it on uh, other Giants equipment. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this Kenzie is a Giants piece of equipment. Oh no, where is this combine going? Apparently I have the rows going left and right. Uh, but yeah, seeing the wheels uh, bounce in and out here, this has been going on for a while. I really can't believe that they haven't fixed this issue yet. Um, it might be a problem with the map, uh, but it hasn't always been there. It started at some point and has uh, continued to be a problem with different pieces of equipment. So I don't know what's going on with that. Very frustrating, though, because it looks just absolutely ridiculous. Look at those wheels. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I chose to follow the combine down this path. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. I'm just hoping he can get to the end row there. He's so close. He's very full. And uh, get turned around. And I'll empty him on the way back down. He should turn into the row to my left here. Nice big headland area to get turned around on. Glad we did the three rows. Perfect. Uh, we'll probably actually be close to getting full by the time the semi can make its way back out here at this rate. We are already going to have half a semi load from this, uh, this dump right here. And then it's not going to take very long for the combine to get emptied again. At least now that we're going on these straight rows like this, it'll be easier to keep up with the combine and keep it unloaded. I'm just hoping I can get it unloaded by the time we get to this end row. This is the shorter rows, shortest rows that we'll have to deal with, actually. But we're not quite going to get it emptied, it doesn't look like. Maybe the combine will stop at the end row here and finish dumping. Perfect. Just a little bit easier on me because I need to go switch out and figure out which uh, other workers are running into problems. There we go. All emptied out. I better get out of the way now. Only 400 bushels this time. That's good. Now, it had to be the 8410 out here somewhere that got stuck. Uh, down here, it looks like it went off into the ditch uh, looking at the map. Oh, and there's our semi going back out there. Great. How did you get down here? Wrapped around a tree. I don't even know how this works sometimes. Well, it looks like we're supposed to be starting things off right back here. So we might as well just get ourselves unfolded and send it on its way. This could have probably used two headland passes. That's part of what's going on here. I didn't even think about that with this big rake coming around behind these guys. Oh, uh, well, I don't think we'll have any problems because that's really the only tree on the edge there should be able to navigate just fine for the rest of it and i think what we'll do is i'm going to unload this combine one more time on the way down this path and then i'm going to run over and grab the 8r now bring that out here and we're going to see if that will work better uh on this grain cart if course play is going to play nice with it that's what i want to know all right, here we go. Oops, we're turned to the side. Didn't anticipate that. We're losing a valuable feet on uh, what we could have been unloading on. There we go. Uh, I don't think we'll quite have enough to fill up the semi yet. That's fine. I was actually thinking that it was going to be a little bit harder to keep up with uh, unloading all this grain, but most of our concern is just running the grain cart here it looks like which we're not doing a very good job of I was distracted watching this rake come up to the end of the field curious to see if it was going to get caught on anything it looks like it's handling itself well though so we'll just go ahead and finish unloading a little bit on the end there back up a few feet perfect so we got the 8R up here I disconnected the planter and what I'm going to do is drop these Demco tanks off here hopefully they're going to be out of the way there 
and we do have the duels on. I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem with the grain card. It shouldn't be. Um, I think we've got plenty of room to navigate uh, up next to the combine with this thing. And we got to bring this all the way out to field 7 there. Should be all right. Just uh, working our way through the yard here. All kinds of obstacles to get hung up on. And at some point, I need to get our mowers going on some of these other fields, but there's just so much going on right now that I haven't had a chance, and we got to get this all done in July. So I do have the time uh, scaled down to 0.5. I should have started working on some of this stuff maybe sooner, I was going to say, but I just realized we're in July. I couldn't start any of this until July, so... Uh, we do have the rest of July, though, so I, I don't know why I'm always so concerned about time. I end up uh, slowing things down and uh, being concerned about it, and then having to fast forward through the last few days of every month. So I'm going to put it up back to, you know, 1, 2x. We'll go 2x uh, at least, try and keep myself a bit honest here. We're going to have several hours of... Uh, field work to do though we're not only going to have to plant some crops in this field we're going to do a little bit of tillage to connect the fields uh, we're going to replant all of these small grass fields with other crops we have to pick up all of the uh, grass that we're cutting right now and put it in the harvest store we got a lot of stuff going on here uh, so July is going to be a busy month for us but I'm not complaining I do like when there's a lot of stuff going on on the farm here. Now I'm disconnecting this grain card. I suppose I probably should have emptied it out first uh, if I was being realistic. Wouldn't want to try and disconnect a mostly full or even a half full grain card. Especially on that little jack stand, my goodness. But it's done now. We'll, uh, we'll have to be more thoughtful in the future. And we've got it hooked up. Let's see now if this is going to work. It is going to work. I'm going to check on this combine now real quick. We've got 60% of the hopper full, so it should call uh, when it gets over 80%, I think. But we'll see how it goes. I'm mostly just interested to see that the... Uh, grain cart can keep up with the combine itself. Uh, I'm not as worried about it trying to dump into the semi. Uh, we can always jump in and get involved for that. Although it looks like it's uh, detected that the combine is there and going. These rows are so short at the moment though that I'm worried the grain cart's going to have a hard time trying to catch up with the combine and do any unloading at all. Maybe once it's in the appropriate rows here, it'll have an easier time of managing that. Sometimes it's not always about the most efficient way to do it. It's just about letting somebody else do it so that I'm freed up to do my own thing. Looks like he's going to wait for us to unload here. He got full right uh, as the green cart was catching up. It's actually probably convenient in this case. All right, well, that's well under control now. We can hop on out here, and I'm going to take the 8RX back up to the yard uh, because I think the 8RX is what we're going to end up putting on the loading wagons. Um, I think that's going to work out the best for us. So let's send him back up to the farmyard and go see if about uh, moving some of these mowers around. Now, I do still need some more silage, so I think the plan is going to be to... Uh, turn all of these smaller fields into grass, you know, cut them as grass without the conditioner on and run silage for those. And then the big field will do hay. So I'm going to just run this first swather out here to the little field in the back and get him set up and going. Adarx is up in the farmyard. Perfect. And this guy's all set up and ready to go. Let's see about generating a course real quick. We're going to do a single tool, three headlands, and then we'll grab this guy and send him out to the field behind the house here. 
Uh, oh, 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 why did they turn so sharp? Probably could have gone around the uh, other side of the bin there and not have to deal with sneaking around these trailers. Uh, well, we're managing. Now I'm kind of wondering how I'm going to get the combine over here to harvest this field if I plant something like soybeans down here. Well, I guess that's a problem for another day, but it's always uh, top of mind is just how we manage getting our equipment around sometimes. Generate headlands three, tools one. And then lastly, we've got this guy and uh, I'm not gonna put him on a field just yet, but we might as well get his conditioner loaded back up because the next fields we need to do are the hay fields. So there we go. We've got a conditioner attached off. I'm going to just bring him out to the field. We might as well. We're here. We're driving him. Be convenient. And I think what we'll do is just park him over here and we'll wait until the other two are done and send them off in a group. Uh, I'm just checking over here. The combine's still moving. So this combine uh, grain cart situation seems to be going pretty well. Let's rush back over here, and I think it's time to uh, get ourselves a loading wagon and see how that's going to work. Uh, I'm going to check the store one more time, just make sure nothing else jumps out at me. And then I think we're leaning towards getting one of those class loading wagons. Oh, and we're blocking the semi. Apparently the semi's here with a nearly full load of barley. Good to know. We better get ourselves out of the way. All right, so we've gone ahead and picked up that uh, class 9500 that we were looking at in the store earlier. Uh, I think this is going to work out the best for us right now as a trial run at least and uh honestly if we don't like it we'll just keep bailing stuff but i'm hoping hoping that this is going to work out for us now let me see here i've got to copy this course we're going to go to the center point of this course and we'll be running this same thing on this field back here and then over here what i need to do is set things up oh wrong button let's see where we're picking up not pick up um i want this one so we are at farm hay fields and we're gonna drop this off in the harvest store dump harvest store yeah i'm dumping into the harvest store and we're picking up grass. So this should do it. I need to enable course play mode on my auto drive course. And then over here, we're gonna get ourselves into position and start this guy off. And hopefully this works out for us. Because if it does, this would be super handy. Oh, it's working already. Getting lots of grass in there. All right, well, while you do your thing, sir. Wait, why are you going so slow? Let me check your, uh, yeah, we had your cruise control set from you being on the grain cart. That should help get this job done a little bit faster, increasing that cruise control. Always gets me with course play. And I don't need this course on the rake anymore. So we're gonna run this rake up the hill. And I suppose uh, I'll do the other side over here of the farm first because then I can bring it out to the little field and then I'll be ready to go on the big field. I think that's the right order of operations to keep me from having to move equipment around on the farm too much. And we're not going to make the same mistake I made before. We're going to go out around the far side of the bins here so I don't have to deal with sneaking around the semi-trailer parking lot there. This should be plenty wide to get this rake through when it's all folded up like this. It's all about efficiency, uh -huh, folks. We're trying to get all of these jobs done as quickly as possible here today.
AI worker Betty has stopped due to a full tank. Now, is Betty the combine or the new grass uh, collector? I'm hoping it's the grass collector and it's going to start working on an auto drive uh, destination now. It looks like that's the case. Perfect. Should be cutting across to the point right there and then following it along to dump. Um, are we actually full? We are. Look at that. Very nice. All right. Well, I'm going to let that go. We're going to trust in the awesomeness here. Hop the creek and check on our combine. We haven't gotten any complaints from it yet, but it does look like things are stopped at the moment. Of course, play having a hard time figuring out how to get up this hill. You know what? Why don't you just let me help you out here? We've got this. Go, go, Adar. I'm going to have to get out here and pick up the straw at some point, too. The question I have is, well, is it worth it to try and rake it? Probably not, because at most I'd be combining every other row here. Worker Elizabeth stopped. Tank is full. Was that the combine, then? Because Betty was the other worker. I don't know. We're getting so many messages now about uh, workers being full. I'm getting confused. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to rake this because I'd have to do it manually. I don't know of a good way a course play course would be able to pick up um, all of this stuff. Oh, and we're way too fast of a gear here. I need to take this down to six. There we go. That's why we're not keeping up. Uh, I think the loading wagon would do a good job just following the combine's course on this field to pick up the straw so we're gonna we'll be doing that and just uh letting him take his time back up a little bit here all right that seems good i'm gonna start this guy back off because he's been working out well for us shouldn't be a concern and with that all working i, I just want to come back over here and make sure that we're not uh having a traffic jam because i expect the harvest door is a little bit uh jammed up at the moment with the two feed tractors sitting there with nothing better to do the oh no nope, that all looks good where's our loading wagon then um how on earth did you get down here and why are you trying to go to the farm hayfield what happened sometimes i just don't uh i don't even know where to start with uh the weird going ons yeah, like this. What are you doing? This is a one-way course, and you're turning around the wrong way. There we go. Finally. Some semblance of uh, sense here on your directions. Like, how did he even get over here? Is what I want to know. I'm just really confused. Oh my goodness, could you uh, pull into this place any slower, sir? Alright, moment of truth time. I don't know why this wouldn't work, but you never know. Yeah, uh, stop. Why did you not dump the grass? I'm gonna run it back here manually and just see if I get the idea. Weird. Well, drat. I was really hoping this was gonna work. Oh, because I'm on the wrong thing. For crying out loud, folks. It helps when you pick the right auto drive thing. It really does. Well, I'm not sure what I've done wrong here. I guess I don't usually use the uh, driver quite like this, and I was changing everything around, so I'm going to flip this in. This is what I would think that this should be set up as, though. And uh, if anybody's used a loading wagon with auto drive and course play like this before, let me know. Uh, but since I've now had to stop that course, it's not going to automatically resume my course play course either. Uh, so I'm just going to drive this guy back down to where he left off and start him back up and then see if it handles this a little bit better the next time around, which would be my hope. And here we go. Get lined up. Hit start. Looks like we're on the right course. All right. Well, we'll let this guy go. We'll see if it works out a little bit better. Like I said, 
Uh, we're trying new things here, trying to figure out how to optimize all of this pesky grass work that we've got. And uh, we're going to have a lot of it to do. So if we can figure this out, it's going to save us a lot of time and energy as we move forward here. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode, though, and uh, we'll be back next time to wrap up this harvest and start figuring out what we're going to do with planting some new crops here in uh, these different fields. If you enjoyed the episode, uh, that's great. Hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Ketterk out.